started. Let's get started calling in Leo's angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Give us knowledge that's for their greater good, the greater good of Leo. And let's start with the Zen Tarot. With the Zen Tarot first for Leo. I know I've probably shuffled it enough because I shuffle a different way too. All right. What is the issue with our Leos? Whoa. <laughs> this might be the issue. This might be the challenge. Issue, challenge, root. There we go. Issue. The full. I'm not taking reversals on this deck in particular. Um, there's only, really only have one, two decks that I do reversals on. Uh, so this brand new beginning, the full energy. So being able to start a new journey without bringing in like past life experiences um, and judging and comparing. And and that is the Zen way of looking at a new beginning. There is a little bit of extra trust from this person because one, they're going to act like they've never been down this road before. Even if you have, try to see something as brand spanking new. Like even if it's a relationship and you've had a relationship before, something is brand new. Don't compare. Ugh. Gosh, and then look at this. Ace of Cups, going with the flow. So, being carefree, going on this experience without judgments, and the challenge is to accept love, to accept this great offer, whatever it is that the universe has you stepping through. It's gonna, this Ace of Cups allows you to flow like water, around your obstacles, around hard things in life. This brings extra love to you. And this is general, so it can be anything. Anything that causes a great amount of joy, it can be going down a different journey for career. Something's gonna free you from obstacles too. So, there we go. It's almost like human and spirit. That's, that's how what I, I feel like, that's human and spirit. The root or the issue right now, exhaustion, that is the heart of the matter. That is uh, maybe what's preventing you from being able to look at something with fresh new eyes is because maybe there's something, there's another part of life that's really, really dragging you down and making you exhausted. something with the intensity of what you're doing and and this this is similar to the nine of wands so it's wanting you to to go ahead and keep charging ahead but acknowledging spirit acknowledging that yeah you you seem like you're exhausted all right let me make sure that that's in the row hang on one second there we go Okay, so if we put it up here, I think that I get at that in the row. All right, so now we're going to look at our past position, Leo. Past position for Leo. The dream. Dun, 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 dun. I think of that Les Mis song it's for some, uh, the dream. It could be about soulmates. This is the Six of Cups energy. So this could be about dreaming of a reunion with somebody. Um, it is about dreaming of making things better. And it can be in family, like family ties, family bonds, or soulmate energy. Making something a lot better. What's the present situation for Leo? Innocence. Innocence. And I have a feeling that this is about taking control back too. Taking control back, being um, 
being one with things around you and really slowing down to have that appreciation and awareness of even the smallest things in life that can give us pleasure. And it's like stripping away labels, stripping away the skin of who you are and the soul is exposed and the soul is truly innocent like a child, never ignorant, innocent. So seeing the beauty in all things and truly being innocent because the soul is just here for an experience. All right, future position. Or maybe it's past. <laughs> no, future position, going beyond illusions. Getting really real with life going beyond the Maya, going beyond the illusion. So you, you could say that this isn't, this isn't the imaginary world, it's not the mystical world, and it's not the world that you used to see with all of the conditioning and the labels on you. This is beyond that. This is what you now create. All right, what is the how you're feeling card? How you are feeling like a completion. Look, we're going in order here. This 20, 21. And by the way, these are major arcanas for um, the Zen Tarot. They're just a little different. But you have one, two, three, four major arcanas. The completion card is that, like, they have that last puzzle that's like, aha, I've done it. That's the feeling is like, oh, whew, I've done it. And that is your completion. It may signify a new chapter coming. This might be kind of like the world card, but it's more focused on job well done. You have completed a lesson or something like that. Something like that. Let me make sure that that's in there. Yeah. Okay. So let's move forward. Get some coffee. What is the external issues or the external situation? Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Leo. This is the Zen Tarot's Ten of Pentacles. Everybody working in unison and having what you need. Everyone. So this is representing everybody, I guess, in your surrounding or your vicinity that has what they need both emotionally and physically, guys. Yeah. That's, that's a really good card to get. So your Ten of Pentacles. We're on a roll, Leo. Let's keep going. What's the hopes and fears? Okay, and I've gotten this for you all before. There's, this is looking like the Queen of Pentacles. Um, but it is truly about somebody that looks kind of like the Empress. Like, that's what I get is the Empress feeling from her. Um... Maybe there might be a small block in you that not, it's not really a block if we can just do simple tweaks to our life of being afraid of success, of being afraid of being the person that, well, you're striving to be. And, and that's a weird block sometimes, but um, sometimes we can have that. So I see this as a hope or a fear. This could represent somebody you fear that's an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But this feminine energy is like the matriarch of the family. You might fear a matriarch of the family. I see this as being a slightly afraid of success. All right, Leo, let's go for the outcome card. What is the outcome or probable outcome? Okay, guys, Whew. getting away from conditioning, getting away from labels, making you feel like you're just a part of this sheep when you're a lion, you're a Leo. You're going to get away from this is the same, it has the same meaning attached to it. These are the expectations on his back of other people. 
their expectations, their labels that people have labeled what he is. And they're all making his journey a lot heavier than it needs to be. So this card is about dropping all of these things and just moving with yourself so that the burden is off of you and your load is lighter. Moving from a hard situation to an easy situation. All right. Now, let's get, um, let's get a few cards for spirit advice. I think that's a good idea. Let's get spirit advice. Spirit, can we get some advice for Leo? <laughs> the Sun card. Here's that bright, vibrant energy that is associated with Leo. I think this moon is going to bring in a lot of new stuff for you, Leo. And this looks really exciting. This card also is, is like happiness and joy. It is the best in the whole deck, really, because it offers you so much energy and vitality. Change everything rolled up into one with the sun. The energy of the creator of all. All right, so another advice. Four of Wands. Ooh, Leo, get ready to celebrate. Get ready to celebrate with the Four of Wands energy. Everyone celebrating with you, possibly a twin flame coming in your life. Or this can be any milestone, any milestone that's met. And it looks like you have other people celebrating this with you. Yeah, I love this. This is fiery. This is fun. This is exciting. All right, oh, let's get, let's get a guardian angel card. Oh wow, that is a big, big message to you, Leo. Angel of new beginnings. Wow, it's because of this completion, this new beginning is really, really, really strong with you. All right, Angel of New Beginnings and uh, Angel of Love. Getting and receiving love all the way through, all the way through. All right, let's see what the Tiny Tarot, if they have anything else to say about this. Let me one more time check the binder. Okay, okay, it's good. All right, Tarot, is there anything else that you would like to define for our Leos or clarify. <laughs> a wish granted. It's like because of this completion, there's a wish granted. Because of the completion, there's a wish granted. Ugh. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do some more. And closure. Okay, some people may be having a celebration about a chapter in your life ending, and that might bring really big happiness, like something completing is truly something ending first, and it's to be celebrated, not feared. Celebrated. Wow. All right, so we are manifesting this. Whew, we are manifesting this. The Magician, the Three of Wands. You may be coming in from a distance or maybe planning that. This might be about your ships coming in, though. Let me make sure again. Okay. <laughs> this is about keeping something to yourself. Maybe... Maybe this new beginning, keeping this new beginning to yourself, maybe it's a surprise for family, friends, or soulmate energy. 
Also, this can be about investing in family, waiting for your ships to come in and pay you back for all that you've been investing and manifesting for your family. It's really good, Leo. Thank you for joining me, guys. Sending you light and love. It looks great. Bye.